Hey YouTube, it's Think Museums, and today is Memorial Day here in the United States. Think Museums, guys, the number one channel for museums, heritage, cultural news, and things to do with monuments, roadside attractions, oddities, you know, all those cool stuff that you see around, you'll see it in Think Museums. So let's head out. Let's see what the Pioneer Memorial Park has in store for us. Alright guys, called Think Museum is a YouTube channel and I'm covering a lot of museum stuff, historical stuff. Sure. Yeah, so today I thought I should come to the this okay. Good. park just to see what you guys are up to. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, so can you tell me a little bit, uh, a little history about this park? Well, this is the oldest cemetery in Phoenix. It was established in 1884 when okay. it was written up. They started burying people here in 1885. They yeah. moved people from the original cemetery downtown, yeah. way outside of town. This yeah. is way outside of town, a mile mm -hmm. outside of town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so this has been around for 130 something years. Mm -hmm. um, it closed in 1914. Wow. And so there have been no burials in the cemetery since. Yeah. Then. It's made up of seven separate cemeteries. Seven separate there are cemeteries. Seven separate cemeteries okay. in this park. Yeah. It's called Pioneer and Memorial, Memorial Park. Okay. So, who are some of the famous people that are buried here? Oh, okay. So, yeah. uh, the first mayor of Arizona, uh -huh. uh, first mayor of Phoenix, is John T. Alsap. He's buried across the street there. Oh, this height. Daryl Dupa, who named Phoenix and Tempe, is uh -huh. buried over here across the street. Oh, the street. Okay. Uh -huh. um, Hi. We've got. Uh, King Woolsey, who was uh, one of the legislatures of early Arizona, uh -huh. right across the street over there. Uh -huh. We've got uh, Jacob Waltz, who was the Lost Dutchman. He's buried in the... Oh, the Lost Dutchman. Superstition Mountains and all that? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's buried out there in the very south. We've got uh, Scott Nelson, the first surgeon general uh -huh. over here. These guys here with the American flags and the Confederate flags, these are all Civil War veterans. Okay. So Union uh -huh. and Confederate veterans, all of them that you see there with the flags are Civil War veterans. Okay. Over here on the other side we have uh, Benjamin Franklin who was the 13th Territorial Governor uh -huh. of Arizona. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Noah Broadway who was the first Sheriff mm -hmm. uh, of Phoenix, mm -hmm. Maricopa County. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's just a countless number of people who have yeah. had influence in the development of Phoenix and Arizona uh -huh. over the years. Yeah. But this was at one time the only place, it was the only cemetery. So yeah. anybody who died between 1884 and 1912, mm -hmm. this is where they were buried. Wow. The flags you see, yeah. the avenue of the flags, these uh -huh. represent all the different nations yeah. that we're in charge of Arizona. So we've mm -hmm. got the Spanish flag, we have mm -hmm. two Spanish flags, the Mexican flag, mm -hmm. the Confederate flag, because Southern Arizona was uh, Confederate sympathizers. Oh, really? I didn't know that. So, yeah. uh, so at one time, Arizona used to have the Confederate flag, right? In or no? South, Southern oh, Arizona. Oh, Southern Arizona, okay. Wow. This is interesting. So, so the person who named Phoenix, Daryl Dupa. Daryl Dupa, huh? Yeah. You want to go see him? Yeah, I'm going to okay. see him. Oh, Daryl Dupa. How about that? Yeah, that's right. Dupa Bill. That's he's the founder of the city. Well, this is interesting, guys. If you never knew. This is where you'll find this story here. So this is Brian Philip Darrow Duper, born in October 19, 1832 in Paris, France, and died in 1892 Phoenix at age 59 years. He named Phoenix what it is right now. The legend of Darrow Duper lives on. That's what they say. So that's Darrow Duper there. This is interesting. But these are some of them. So, Daryl Drupa against the backdrop of Phoenix. When he named Phoenix, he never knew Phoenix would be that behind there. 
something bigger than that. So this is pretty cool and interesting that I got this chance to come to Phoenix, Arizona to just check this out. So this is pretty cool. Wonderful things going on here at Phoenix, Arizona. Um, just a flight up there. Phoenix Sky Harbor. If you're coming to Phoenix, Arizona, you land at Phoenix Sky Harbor. It's down the other side. Uh, there we got the city. I'm going to take a 360 of Phoenix, Arizona. This side doesn't have too much, but it's a little bit of cool stuff. But look I never ask you, oh, so how do they maintain this if the rock, uh, if the headstones fall down? How do they maintain them? We repair them. Okay, you guys just do it here. Okay. Yeah, we've been trained yeah. to uh, repair yeah. uh, headstones and markers. Yeah. So we, we put them back. Yeah. We don't restore them to new, but we do repair them and, and conserve them. Okay. We're, we're more of a conservator rather than a restoration. Okay. Like this one right here. This one. See this one's. This oh yeah, this one. Down the, and so at some point in time, we're going to reconstruct that. Put it yeah. Back out the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. Wow, this is awesome. On this side of the main road here, are yeah. fraternal cemeteries. Fraternal. Fraternal organizations have purchased the property for their members. Oh wow. So we have the Masons. Okay. The Independent Order of Odd Fellows. Yeah. The Knights of Pythias. Yeah. And the Ancient Order of United Workmen. So you have four different fraternal organizations. Yeah. Buried. Uh, their membership here in yeah. families and what have you. Mm -hmm. The other side of the road is the city cemetery. Yeah. Okay. This is some good picture would be a picture going that way with that Palo Verde tree in the city of Phoenix skyline. Oh, cool. Yeah, just I did to want to show you just yeah. how close we are to town. Yeah. When this was originally built, it was a mile outside of the city limits. Wow. So the city was pretty small back then. It was. Uh, city of Phoenix at that time yeah. went from 7th Street to 7th Avenue. Yeah. That was it. So they didn't want the cemetery close to where the railroad was coming in. So yeah. they moved as many people as they thought they had yeah. over here. They missed a lot of people. Oh, they missed it. Okay, wow. Yeah. In 2012, yeah. they were redoing the Sheriff's Department. They were digging the basement. And they found the remains of 15 other people. So it took yeah. a year or so to convince them that they should be buried here. So yeah. they're buried right over here. They brought them over. We planted 15 boxes of remains. 15 boxes? Yeah. Wow. You know, it was not a lot. Yeah. But they were still remains of a human body that yeah. needed to be re repatriated with the rest of the folks. You know? Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much for that piece of history. Um, You're absolutely uh, It's going to be here in Think Museums. And we want to thank you for sharing that piece of history. Sure. Yeah. Now you know everything I know. Now I know everything. <laughs> thank you, guys. This was Think Museums, and we were here at Pioneer uh, Memorial Park. Uh, this is a military park in honor of various military personnel lost their lives in different wars. And that was just to celebrate Memorial Day. So thank you, guys, for joining me. This Think Museums. Support this channel by subscribing and by liking this video. Thank you guys.